Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today we're going to take a look at Code Tracks, which is like a sequencer, groove, jam maker, thing, sequencer, thing, synth. Uh, it's brilliant, I, I love this. Um, first of all, you can play it on your own like this, or you pressing uh, this little button here, these, these three little switches here, you can have two people play it, so your friend or whatever could sit here and play those two. Or if we do this one, four people can play. And it's uh, it's really it's <laughs> it's 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 great how it works. Okay, so first of all, at the bottom, <clears throat> you have these four tracks. Now these four tracks can be anything you like. Well, first of all, we're going to set up a new session. So you hit session here, okay, and you hit this little um, plus button, and it gives us a new session, okay. And if you want to name your session b before you start, you hit this little thing with the writing on here. And you'll see that there, you can delete all the other sessions if you want to. But if you tap on the session you've loaded, then you can you can uh, name your new session. So we'll call this uh, video. Okay, so return. So our video session is now loaded. So we go back there and we go to, you can import and you can export. But let's go to sequencer now. So this is where we're going to set up. Uh, it has background and you can set your latencies of background audio as well. Well, let's go to sequencer. This is where we're going to set up our track, basically. So we can set up our scale here. So let's have it. Uh, now, how many scales we get? We get all these. So there's quite a few. Let's just set up a harmonic minor. I quite like that. So let's go back now. And key. Well, we leave the key in C, but you can choose any key you like. And then you have. Uh, you can set your groove. Okay, which is like your swing type thing. But we won't. We won't need to do that. Okay. So that's that done. So we've set our session up the way we want it. Okay, so you'll see that this down here now, you have all these different controls here. This is your kind of, this is where you're going to choose the instrument that you want that particular track to be. So I want this track to be a drum machine, this bottom one, so we, we choose drum pad for that, so that's okay, that's already there. And, or you could set it for a mono synth or polysynth. Now if the one at the top here is set on a polysynth. And this is a mono synth. And these are just the default sounds that uh, will load up. And then we have here, I'm not sure, and that's a mono synth as well. And <coughs> let's see. Yeah, it's called Slightly Bass. And you can see that this is set up. Where is this is set up? In a, in a, like a keyboard, this will slide. You change that with that there. So these are different, this is your sort of, you can change your effects and stuff. This is more of a glitchy type effect. Let's just switch it on. Works better with drums, to be fair. And, um, yeah, that's just your basic sequence of you like we've got there. Then you have the sequences. I'll get to that in a sec. Again, the selection. And then there's settings. Now, there's settings for each separate thing. So you could set your looping. Now, is 8 beats, but you can go up to 64 beats. So that's, a, that's long enough to get some sort of cool variation going. Let's go back to 8 beats. And you could sync it to the length and start. And stop and choose where. Okay, so that's that. Looping there. Quantize obviously is what it is you can see the note quantization there i leave it on what it's basically says and then there's transpose and then the scale now you can override the whole session scale and set a completely different scale for each track if you wanted to that's just a, a, a thing that's really handy actually all right then and then this last one here is audio copy uh, and you, you can remove the unit okay so now we have a other couple of things here Underneath we have a little plus underneath each one, which means we can add another another track in over our over our track. So you could actually have three drum tracks playing at the same time. Well, I'll get to that as well, and three synth tracks and whatever, or switch them on and off independently as you go. Basically, we need to get going. So there's our um, particular drum sound we've got now. So we need to, we, if we don't like it, we can change. So pad one is kick, pad two is snare, pad three is hi-hat, and then there's open higher. So you could be like a...
But say for instance you don't like that kick, you can select from a load of different kicks. It might be a bit loud. So, so once you set up your pads the way you want them to sound, then you're good to go. So we're going to start off and just record some basic. We'll just record a very, very basic pattern just to get us going. So we'll switch our metronome on there. And we'll go back to our track view so we can see. We'll press play. Now, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two, three. See, what happens is if I... That's recording now, and it'll go off. See? So I'll hit it again. So you can see that's happened. So we can turn it off. Now, if I press record again, now that will, what you can, there is, there is overdub feature as well. But you can, what we'll do now is we'll select this second section here and we'll select that as a drum pad. Now, again, we won't go through the fact that you can change all sorts of different things and, and what have you for your sample. See, we've got this going. See, now that's on our second track, if you like. Which means that if I switch that off... Or just have that going. And then we can do that again for the third, if we wanted to. So let's have drum pad there. But this time, let's... Um, Right, let's choose on pad one, we'll have some percussion and we'll choose. And then on pad two, we'll have some more percussion, I think. No. Okay, so we've got that set up so far. So let's go back to our track view and see what's going on here. No, it didn't play it exactly the same because our quantizer is set to 16th notes. So well, we can turn that off for a sec. And it won't turn off until the end. Now, another interesting feature here is if I press record now, it's wiped out my original drum pattern, yeah? And then it stops recording when it reaches its sequence. So let's record another. But say now, right, I'm thinking, well, <laughs> where's my original? I want my original back, and I'm, I don't want to, and what can I do? But you don't need to do that, neither. You have this very cool thing here, which is your sequences, okay? And your sequences, you can jump to in and out of any time you like. Okay. So that's cool. So we know that we can turn things on and off. So you, you can see how easy it is to get a great groove going. Now let's add some bass. Okay, let's choose. You know, want a mono synth? Will that cool? Um, so we can choose our bass. So let's use that. Now, let's see now. I need to find my bits and pieces for editing. Right. Mono sin. There. And we know we're on acid saw base. Now, this is where you can also choose. See, here's all your all your sounds for your mono synth there. So we've got acid saw bass. Let me stop that a sec. So we've got acid saw bass. Okay, so we can go into that now and you see we've got, we can control the synth. We've got a synth. Okay, and in this place we can put a... 
oh, you can change all sorts of stuff. The octave, the mass, the waveform there, the low pass, the high pass, the envelope. So you can go into your uh, ADSR that way. See how involved this is? It's really cool. So you've got your um, modulation, LFO, your pitch there, your glide. So you've got your sort of, what would it be with your thing? It's not the, really the sound to, uh, not really the sound to do that, is it really? But there you go. So I want to find instruments again now. Nope. And there we go. It's the first one, the keyboard. And then you have effects you can add. I like that. So that'll do. And uh, there you go. And then you have your master level. Oh, you have an EQ as well. So that's good. And uh, master level. So if the bass was a bit loud, we could turn it down in the mix. And we can pan it left or right. So you can see how involved it can be. So once you set up the sound that you like, and I'm going to keep it on. So we're going to do that now. So let's start our drums off again. And get ready. thing and I can never remember how to do it. I know you can definitely do this. record it as well, I just can't remember that. Go back to one other. And okay, so now we're going to start adding some lead. And then we can scroll, scroll through our sounds like this. Only can you have two sounds, two completely different sounds, but you could have them, you can have them all playing at the same time as well. So you can build up three for each track. You can build up three things, like we did with the drums. You could do the same with the bass. And then if you over-record anything, you can um, <clears throat> always jump back to the one that you want with the sequence editor. And you can see also as well that the automation gets drawn in, so that you can see what's going on. So that's cool. So you you get the idea. Okay, I mean, I made a few mistakes. It doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's a video demo. It's only a few minutes. So it's right. So let's play again. 
Now we have our poly synth at the top here. Limited, you can have this as a mono synth, this is a poly, the more poly, all drums. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to change the looping, okay, and I'm going to change this one to 16 beats, okay, because I want the sequence, this particular sequence, to run longer. All right, so let's start again. there you go so <laughs> that's code tracks another app you could play with all day i uh, hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you later